All right, welcome back, everybody. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, aka Funkso Brother. Uh, well, we got a little bit of a late start. You can see the sun is already up behind us, or to the side of us. I came out today with Chad. We came out to Freeport. We're gonna fish Christmas Bay, Churchill Bayou. We're gonna fish around the area. I haven't been out here in quite a while. Wanted to come back and see if hopefully we get some of those flounders. The weather is perfect. Not too many winds, not too much winds today. Thanks for coming back. Stay tuned and hopefully catch me. Hook it up. He might make it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty close, regardless where he ends up. We'll see. Caught him on pink gulp. You know, pink is always a great color to use out here. Nice looking guy. Let's uh, see about getting this out of him. Hmm. Fifteen inches? A little fifteen incher. We're gonna let him go. Fourteen in the state of Texas. So we'll let him go, hope for a little bigger one. Let this guy grow a little bigger. There he goes. Alright, you know, first fish of the day. Got him on tandem. Tandem leader. Um, got him on pink. Swimming mullet. Like I said. Those flounders and trout out here, Christmas Bay area, they uh, they really like pink. So I think Chad got. Were you throwing a pink gulp? No pink gulp. Yeah, Chad got a speck, maybe right around 15, 14 inches on pink gulp. You got him? No, I'm just talking about. I said I hate this mud. There you go. I guess I didn't need a net, huh? No. See, I told you there's always, they're always, they're always together. You know, you can always find a couple together. I think we're almost side by side where, where I caught that one because I didn't necessarily catch, catch that one in a drain. So you can always catch them side by side. I don't need no net. Not for that guy, but it's okay. It's more theatrical. Dang it! What the heck was that? Oh my God! That's like the world's biggest. Bird nest. Dang. That was terrible. He's still on though. That's a good one. Feels better. Feels better than the last one. Well, no. He just has more fight, I think. Another cookie cutter size. Pink gulp does it again. A little smaller, but this huge flounder just came out chasing us, Chad. Yeah. Yep. And I let it fall back down and he chased it down, so I hope he's holding on to it. We'll see. No, he did! <laughs> oh he broke off! He broke me off. Look at that big old dust cloud. He was huge. He was so big. I cast over here and I was swimming it back and he he was chasing me. So he chased that saw, so I let it fall back and I hooked up and he freaking ran off and he broke off. Oh my God. Yep, he broke me off. Dead gum. That was, I mean, honestly, if I had to, if I had to put a number on it, probably about 20 inches. He was very nice. Oh man. And I bet my when I got caught over there in that oyster 
got caught in an oyster back there, I bet I compromised my line. I didn't even think about checking to see if it was frayed. And uh, that's that's it. That's how it goes, you know. You live, you learn. Golly. That guy was not happy to be caught. He just went bananas. Penny Mantis. Chartreuse tail. He felt a little bigger than that, but small guy. We'll uh, keep casting, but that's good. We just got to this other channel back here, so hopefully, hopefully we'll hook up. I've had a. It's been a while since I've had a, had, a, had anything on the end of my line that actually stuck. Um, had a few bites and stuff to get off, but. It's been a while since I pulled something out of the water, so that ever felt real good. We we'll keep casting and work our way down. There we go. Another one. This one feels a little bigger. <clears throat> Get in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see where this guy's at. This guy's 15 inches. 15 inch flounder. Really nice guy. You're an active. Oh, we go. That one. Oop. There we go. This guy is a nice thick one. If he's gonna be slot, looks like it. We'll see. Uh, he's gonna be a little small, I think. Little small guy, Schmirger. He's thick though. He might be. He might be about 14 inches. Uh, we'll measure him just to, just for poops and giggles. But he's gonna be cutting it close. Just barely touching 14. Just a little over 14. Go right here. It's our third slot of the day. No, uh, no huge guys, but you know, they're definitely out here. A lot of small ones though. But he will grow to be bigger, which is great news for fishing down the road because you uh all these guys will grow to be bigger 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 so hopefully we'll hook up with those guys again a little bigger one he's still gonna be undersized <laughs> i foul hooked him i hooked him in the fin Look at that. I felt hooked him in the fin. That's why he felt a little bigger. Because he got finned on. <laughs> oh, shouldn't have been going for my stuff, homie. Yeah, they definitely pull harder when they're foul hooked. That's for sure. Oh, look, something bit him. He has a bite on each side. Dang, little guy. 